Let's face it, giant holes are super cool. Something about a natural doorway to the unknown has the ability to capture our imaginations. But only one hole at Death Valley National Park in Nevada is interesting enough to be dubbed Devil's Hole, thanks to its unusual makeup and unsettling history. Today, we're telling you the mind-blowing story of Devil's Hole, an eerie alien geology on Earth. But before we head on down to the watering hole, make sure to subscribe to the Weird History channel. Then head down to the comments and let us know what other creepy natural oddities you want to hear about. Okay, time to take a dive into the unknown. Located in Death Valley National Park in Nevada, which is no stranger to majestically lethal landscapes, Devil's Hole is one of the strangest natural formations in the world. There's always something interesting about a big old hole in the ground. But any hole instantly becomes way more interesting when you have absolutely no idea how deep it goes. The hole's entrance is about 8 feet wide and around 60 feet long, and feeds directly into a body of water known as Acres Chasm. Narrow waterways lead into caverns and pockets of air, including one 50-foot tall underground cave called Brown's Room, a room only accessible via Devil's Hole. Researchers have been studying the waters of Devil's Hole for decades, but that doesn't mean they have any idea how the thing operates. The full extent of the hole's water system is a mystery to this day. Divers have ventured down almost 450 feet and estimate there is an additional 150 to 900 feet more before you actually reach the bottom. But so far, no one has been brave enough to make the plunge. Uh, except maybe the two guys nobody ever saw again. More on them later. Taking a dip in Devil's Hole is like kicking back in the world's largest bathtub. And there is no need to keep adding hot water throughout the bath, either. The massive cavern beneath the hole is heated by geothermal energy, keeping things nice and toasty for any interested swimmers. In addition to being warm as all hell, the water is an uncommon but dazzling blue. Diver Hilary Hauser recalls that swimming in Devil's Hole is like swimming in nothing. It's so clear that visibility may be around 300 feet. That's a big jacuzzi. Amongst all the mysterious wonders Devil's Hole holds, the most adorable is the Devil's Hole Pupfish. Nah, that's not the name of a Little League baseball team. It's actually the name of the rarest fish on Earth, which exists nowhere else in the world. Okay, it's probably also a baseball team somewhere. We can't rule that out. Devil's Hole sits safely inside the Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge, which houses a slew of rare fish and plant life. Back in the good old days, about a thousand years ago, give or take, all of Ash Meadows was underwater, like scenery pieces in an aquarium. But ever since humanity's old friend climate change reared its hot, ugly head, the water level has fallen significantly, creating separate ecosystems in the process. It was due to these unique circumstances that the pupfish was able to evolve. The hole's layout makes for the perfect conditions for the pupfish to survive. Sunlight keeps the water warm, while a shelf near the entrance helps algae form on the limestone walls, providing food for the pupfish. While the population bounces from 100 to 500 fish per year, cramping is never an issue as each little fishy is less than an inch long. The pupfish population at Devil's Hole has always been known to fluctuate with the season, but researchers dealing with climate change now worry about the future of this tiny, endangered species. In 2016, researchers were only able to find as few as 30 of the pupfish in the hole. By the following autumn, the population bounced back up to around 115. Those are solid numbers for a game of Red Rover, but a slightly less encouraging figure in terms of fending off extinction. Many factors contribute to these population fluctuations. People in the region are using more fresh water, pulling from the same resource which keeps the Devil's Hole pool filled. Pair that with climate change altering the living conditions in the hole, and that makes life pretty hard for the pupfish. Efforts are being made to start a backup community for the pupfish to prevent them from being wiped out completely. Huh, wonder if that means we can adopt some. Probably the one place you should not have to worry about tsunamis is smack dab in the middle of the desert. But researchers monitoring Devil's Hole recorded a tsunami back in March of 2012. And we don't mean they saw a special effect in a Roland Emmerich movie. While monitoring the Devil's Hole pupfish population, scientists observed a weird phenomenon where the water levels repeatedly rose and fell, draining almost the entire shelf where the pupfish called home. Just as quickly as it started, the strange fluctuations stopped and everything went back to normal. Well, as normal as Devil's Hole gets, anyway. 
Well, it was a baffling situation at the time. Scientists later learned there was an earthquake in Mexico that created an underground tsunami in Devil's Hole from 2,000 miles away. That means the water system under the hole likely extends thousands of miles all over the world. Seemingly confirming that theory is the fact that Devil's Hole has experienced several similar geologic events. While its main job may be to exist as a mere tourist destination, Devil's Hole makes a little extra cash with its side job as a natural seismograph. Earthquakes from all over the world have produced underground tsunamis inside the narrow opening of the hole. In one instance, an earthquake in Indonesia caused the waves of Devil's Hole to fluctuate around six whole feet higher than the natural water level in the hole. That is a pretty major earthquake, Jack. Way bigger than the guy in WWE. If Devil's Hole didn't have a bad reputation already, Charles Manson's fascination with it definitely doesn't help. That's the kind of review you delete from Yelp, no matter how favorable it is. In the months before his arrest, Manson lived in Death Valley and reportedly believed there was a place in the desert where he and his disciples could flee during the end of days to ride out the apocalypse. He called this place Helter Skelter, because in addition to being one of history's most notorious criminals, he was also an embarrassing Beatles nerd. According to some stories, Manson meditated outside Devil's Hole for three straight days before coming to the realization that it was his fabled hiding place. He didn't see the hole as some geographic anomaly. To him, the hole was the bottomless pit mentioned in the Bible's Book of Revelation. And, if we're being honest, until science proves him wrong, who's to say it isn't? When scientists need to understand how the environment has shifted over time, they carve out a deep chunk of ice from the Arctic and study how Earth has changed over the millennia. It's kind of like looking at the rings of a tree. Ice can trap priceless information in its strata that researchers can study to determine what kinds of geological events have occurred and at approximately what point of Earth's history they went down. Much like the ancient Arctic ice, paleoclimatologists discover that Devil's Hole was a similarly fertile source for this type of research. Samples from this underwater cavern can provide nearly 500,000 years worth of data about changing sea levels over time. Such a robust supply of ancient water helps researchers gain a better understanding of drought cycles. It also makes a one-of-a-kind aged cocktail if you add a couple of ice cubes. This data helps scientists track climate change over the millennia, which in turn can help them predict future events. For instance, global warming has been a hot topic of discussion on the news for many years now. But few are considering the possibility of another ice age. Not the film series Ice Age. We almost guarantee there will be a few more of those. No. We're talking about the period of the Earth's history where temperatures dropped so low, they made elephants grow shag carpeting. Based on U.S. Geological Survey data observed at Devil's Hole, the Earth began its current warm period almost 17,000 years ago. While it seems like keeping the heat on for now, Earth is due for another cooling period based on the presence of glaciers which appear every 10,000 to 20,000 years. If that data is accurate, that means this hot, sweaty planet is due for another trip to the icebox. That is, unless global warming decides to put the kibosh on all of that. Eh, come to think of it, that would also put the kibosh on more Ice Age movies. <laughs>